Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, my name is Naila Rizky I'm from 4B, majoring English Education at UIN Syarif Hidayatullah, Jakarta Here I will uh, retelling story the novel that I have read The title is The Weight of Our Sky by Hannah Alkaf This novel telling about the story in the tragedy of the 1969 in Malaysia, it is a racial riot between Malay and Chinese ethnicities. Malati, the main character, she is a 16 years old girl with OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, she is often to counting and tapping her finger when she is in panic or fear. And she has whispers that comes from her mind that makes her frustrated, she called it the gene, and her mom, who is a nurse, uh, had taken her to the psychologist for several times, but the whisper still come to Melati, and Saf, her close friend, uh, knows about it, and Saf is the only one who wants to be Melati's friend. One day, Melati and Saf plan to watch the film of Saf's favorite actor at the cinema in Petaling Street. After school, they uh, go to the cinema by bus and until afternoon they finish the film and uh, Melati want to go home. But Saf said that the film is very good and she want to watch it again. But Melati couldn't because she had to go home before dark. Finally, they parted in front of the cinema. When Melati arrived at the main lobby and left the building, she saw that the situation in Petaling Street is unusual because the shop were closed and the street were uh, deserted. She met with the man who cycling in hurry. She stopped the man and asked him what going on there. He said that there is a riot and she had to go home quickly because it was dangerous for being outside. And then Melati going back to the cinema for get back south and going home together. But it was too late because the exit door in the cinema was blocked by Chinese people with weapons. They threatened the Malay people in the cinema and let the Chinese people uh, save themselves and Melati fell silent with fear. Then, there was a Chinese woman that saved Melati by saying that Melati is Eurasian and not Malay. And then, that auntie take Melati outside, but Melati doesn't want if she doesn't take stuff with her. Auntie grabbed Melati's hand and said that she couldn't lie to say that Saf is Eurasian or Chinese. Those people wouldn't believe her. Maybe because of a face uh, that is Malay. Malati still didn't want to, but that auntie pulled her arm. Saf just stood there in silence and didn't say anything. Mel couldn't imagine what would happen in that theater. Malati is very sorry for leaving her best friend. The situation outside were chaos. Many buildings were attacked, burned, and destroyed. Mel and Auntie ran to save themselves towards Auntie's house. She said that to call Auntie as Auntie B. Arriving at Auntie B's house, they greeted by her sons, Frankie and Vincent. But they didn't welcome Melati well because she is a Malay person. Auntie B said that they should not have Malay people like other Chinese and they still uh, have to help people indiscriminately. Finally, Melati stayed there for a few days until the situation get better. Frankie is the oldest son. He is the most insist on rejecting Melati at home. Vincent did too, but he ended up being nice to Mel. Melati thought that she shouldn't stay at Auntie B's house all the time. She had to find her mother very soon. The gene is still whispering about stuff that is her fault and the imagination about her mother death with blood. When she thinking about that, she tapping her finger very fast and start to counting. She should find her mother very soon and make sure that the jinn was wrong. Vincent decided to volunteer with other people to help another people in distress. He distributed food, drink, and medicine. Melati tells to Vincent that she want to go outside with him. She want to know the situation outside. 
and to find her mother. Vincent refused, but Melati's strong determination made him sure to go outside with him. The way while volunteering is not easy because you have to avoid the attacks from the rioters. Then Melati asked to Vincent to drive her to her house to make sure her mother was there and fine. When Melati got home, she just met with her neighbor, Ma Siti. Ma Siti said that she had not met with her mother. Suddenly, Saf's father came to Melati's house. He asked about Saf. Melati afraid to tell about the actual happened that day. Melati cried when she told about the tragedy that day to Saf's father. He was angry and blamed to Melati for leaving Saf alone in the theater. Then Melati became gloomy because she felt guilty. Vincent immediately brought Melati back to Aunt Tibi's house. The next day, Melati decided to leave Aunt Tibi's house and find her mother. She walked carefully on the road. She took her mother to the hospital where her mother worked and to the police station. But her mother was not there until finally she arrived in front of the cinema. She thought that her mother probably in the cinema to looking for her in there. Melati entered to the cinema carefully. The building was quiet. When she was about to enter the theater, she heard a whisper voice. She was surprised to find a little girl hiding between the chairs. She is me. She tells to Melati that uh, her mother went out to get help and saw the situation when the tragedy happened. And May's mother told to her that uh, not to be noisy because people in the cinema were sleeping and her mother never come back again. Finally, Melati decided to take May with her and promised to take her home. Then they exited from the building and walked carefully to find a safe place for May. Melati decided to go to the school building for help. They had to be extra carefully because there were riots near there until finally they assisted by the good Chinese people until they entered to the school building. Unexpectedly, Melati met with her mother in there. Melati cried and hugged her mother tightly. Mel's mother had been looking for her all over the place for days. This is a touching scene. But her mother said that she had to take Ethan, one of the kids there, to the hospital immediately. Ethan's health deteriorated and had to be given medical care. The next day, Melati and her mother, May and Ethan, ride the school car to the hospital. But while on the way, they were trapped by two riots, Chinese and Malay, who were carrying weapons. They cannot go through the route, and Melati realized that there was Frankie among the Chinese riots. And then Melati decided to get out of the car and talk to Frankie. Frankie is suspected of being a traitor because he had met a friend with Malay people. But Melati yells to them that Frankie's family has helped her, and she said that where we plant our feet is where we must hold up the sky. Everyone fell silent and Frankie rushed to order Mel and others to ride away. Then Vincent came to find Frankie and he met with Melati and others and he told to them to be in the safe place and wait for him. In a few minutes, Vincent came carrying Frankie who was injured in the stomach that is full of blood. Finally, they drive the car towards the hospital for medical treatment. Everyone is safe until the riots ended up in May 1969. Malati visited Saf's grave two months later. She couldn't stop thinking about Saf. Malati promises to her to live well until they can meet again in a different realm. Okay, this is a tense and touching story. That's all my retelling story about this novel. And thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye.